Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. Today, we're going to be working with the Pretty Perennial Stamp Set and the Gold Gilded Leafing. So this is, we're going to be doing some, this is my first time working with this, so, well, not really the first time. I did do a trial to make sure I knew what I was doing, but I only did a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm, um, I have a base here of Bermuda Bay. It's cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And I have some gorgeous grape that is, um, what is this? Five by three and three quarters. Then I have a whisper white that is three and a half by four and three quarters. Okay. So we're going to get our stamp and pierce mat. I got some scratch paper on there. We're going to put our cardstock down. And what I did is I cut a piece of printer paper to one and a half inches wide. Get some tape here. And I just want to tape this across the middle of our card. Well, you know what I need to do? I need to get some removable adhesive. So this is some Dotto Stamp It Up used to sell it, but it just helps keep your paper in place. So gotta keep that there. And I'll put the tape to hold this down where I want it. So basically right across the middle, hopefully that's straight. If not, it'll be okay. Cause you know, I don't do too many things perfectly straight anyway, so we'll be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of colors here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of these colors, but these are the ones I picked out. So we have Balmy Blue, Highland Heather, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo, Bermuda Bay and Gorgeous Grape. I wanted some fun springy colors. So we're going to get started and I'm going to, I have some of my images already on blocks and let's get the green. I'll start with that. Let me see. And we will stamp this little stem here coming out mm, about right there and I'll do one down here I think that's all I want that one for and for right now that'll be all for the green and I'm gonna have to clean these as I go because I only have limited blocks so I'm just cleaning that on my little chamois here and the next one we'll use the, sm the smallest little solid flower. And we'll do this one in, let's say, the Highland Heather. And the purple, the light purple. I probably should start with the bigger flowers. That's what I should do. Yeah, that's a better idea. So let's do that one in a yellow. I want the big flowers to be yellow. So this is the biggest flower that I'm gonna use. So let me see. Put one there, one down here. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of one coming from right there. That's all we'll do in that one. And let's get the flirty flamingo and do the flowers for that that go on this stem now this one I've never inked up before so I, I'm assuming it goes like this yeah so let's see here oh yeah that's cute I've never used this this particular image so I think that's all we'll do with the flirty flamingo. Okay, so now we're gonna use 
Where did it go? This little like starburst image. And I wanna put that one in Bermuda Bay. Maybe another one right there. Okay. And then we'll go to our Highland Heather with the small little flower. I want quite a bit of this one since we have that color cardstock is gorgeous grape I want to bring out the purple a little bit more put maybe one more right there okay what other colors do we have here the gorgeous grape in the balmy blue and in the balmy blue the balmy blue we're going to be doing this small little image here it's this one and it's not going to be much of this. Just a little. Okay. Now we have to change to the gorgeous grape. And I might visit another color again. The gorgeous grape will put these little dots in the middle of this flower here. I think I'll put it on the um, change the color and put it put some in the middle of the yellow we're gonna use Bermuda Bay and go in the middle of the yellow with these little dots as well That's kind of cute. Okie dokie. And I want to perhaps use this little stem. Not stem, what is it? The leaves, the little leaves. So that, um, we can add some more green. A little more green. So I'll just, oh, that one didn't stamp too well. Good thing it's photopolymer. I can go right back over it. Let's see. Just get some green in there. And I think that's about it. I think that looks good. Okay. So now we're going to go back to Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to get the happy. We're going to remove this here. And I'm going to stamp happy in the middle. And then we will get our birthday sentiment and stamp that in gorgeous great. So we're gonna put this right down here, overlapping the bottom of the Y. Okay, now for the fun part. The gold leafing. So let's get all this stuff out of the way. All these inks. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the gold leafing, I'm going to take some sticky tear and tape 
and we're going to put it right along this edge where we had that uh, paper right where we had the paper kind of overlap a little bit of the flowers just put that right along there trying to keep it straight okay then we'll just pull this off of here we don't need that anymore get a pair of scissors and make sure I trim this up you know while I was stamping all of that I should have stamped the inside of the card don't you think let's do that so let's bring this back and I'll just stamp a couple of flowers Okay, so now what I have is I have a paper pumpkin box that I turned inside out. And we have a sponge and this is what we're gonna, this is where we're gonna do our gold leafing. So let's start with the inside of the card. We're gonna just peel that off. Open this very carefully because these flakes will fly everywhere but I'm gonna pick up the ones that I already have in my little box, the bigger pieces, and just push them onto the, um, right onto the tear and tape. Let's take it off of here as well. Okay, we're just gonna give these a good rub. Good burnishing with our finger. I'm gonna do that on both of them. There's gold leafing flying everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna close this up. Whoa, did you see that? That's what I'm saying. This gold leafing is so light and airy. You have to be careful. And I'm gonna put this back in the bag just in case that lid is not on properly. Okay, so now we'll take off most of the pieces with our finger and then we'll get our sponge. Just kind of rub off the excess. There we go. See how it's just flying everywhere? So when you close it, just do it slowly so that you won't push too much air inside. Now I have gold leafing everywhere. But that's okay. Let's clean this up a little bit. So now we have that all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get our card together. So I'll get some liquid glue and we will go ahead and glue our inside. And in the card, let's put a little glue on there. And put that right in there. 
this and this one. Whoops. We will adhere this to our gorgeous grape. And then we'll adhere that to the front of the card. There we go. It's a nice and simple card. It's cute. That is Cricut. Let's try to straighten that up before it dries. There we go. Get a little bit of that glue off of there. And there you have it. That is our card with the gold gilded leafing and the pretty perennials stamp set. Okay, that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.